Asthma is a chronic inflammatory disorder of the airways included within the obstructive lung diseases. First, I will show a normal bronchiole for comparison and understanding the pathology of asthma. Here, you see the normal airflow through airway of a normal non-asthmatic individual. The bronchial wall, as you see here, is made from inside to outside of a thin mucus layer, mucosa, submucosa and smooth muscle cell layer. The smaller bronchi and bronchioles, in contrast to larger airways, do not have cartilage supporting their walls. The bronchioles also have thicker smooth muscle layer as compared to larger airways. Here you see the transverse section of a normal bronchiole wall showing the relative thickness of the wall components and a patent lumen. Now you are seeing a bronchiole of an asthmatic patient. The changes in airway structure include mucus hyposecretion, submucosal inflammation and smooth muscle hypertrophy. The basic pathogenesis is an allergic stimuli inciting airway inflammation contributing to increased bronchiole wall thickening and smooth muscle contraction. The bronchiole lumen is narrowed and the airflow limitation as you see here leads to respiratory symptoms. The symptoms include recurrent episodes of wheezing, coughing, chest tightness and shortness of breath. These may occur a few times a day or a few times per week. Unlike other obstructive lung diseases called the chronic obstructive lung disease or COPD, the airway obstruction in asthma is usually reversible. However, if left untreated, the chronic inflammation from asthma can lead to irreversible obstruction due to airway remodeling.